All right, welcome, and I'm excited that everybody is back. Uh, we have a Connect question this morning, and I would like to talk to you about it, but it's kind of hard for us to talk through the TV screen, so what I want us to do is I want you to pause. We're going to talk about it. Uh, you talk about it, then come back. I will share. Let's do this. What is your most favorite toy and why? Let's talk. All right, I'm sure there was some fun stuff in there. Maybe you were with your sibling and you're like, my favorite toy is this. And they're like, well, that's actually my toy. So maybe you need to check a different toy. But anyway, let's share toys. So um, I can't wait until we are able to get face to face and see each other at church again. We're gonna be doing that very soon. So I can't wait to see you. Now let's do this right now. Let's take a look and listen to this week's memory verse. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Oh man, I love hearing the Word of God. I hope you're staying in your Bible, reading. If you have a devotional, I hope you're in that every day, just reading and meditating on the Word of God. Now, a few weeks ago, we talked about a man named Saul. And if you remember, he met Jesus and later in the Bible, we stopped calling him Saul. We actually started calling him Paul. Now, Paul, you see, he was, he, he was big in sharing Jesus. And that's an understatement. Because let's take a look at the big God story today. Today, there were people who were actually living in Jerusalem. They, they were sharing the good news about Jesus, but it became unsafe. Uh, they were actually being arrested for telling people about Jesus, so they went away to other cities around Jerusalem still telling others about who Jesus was. Now, one major city that was nearby in Jerusalem, it was called Antioch. Say that with me. Antioch. That's right. Now, this was a huge city, and, and it was so uh, diverse. There were so many different nations that came into Antioch. It was a great place for them to tell people about Jesus. Let's read this verse together. Here it is. It's Acts 11, 20 and 21. It says, Some believers from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch. There they began to speak to the Greek also. They told them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's power was with them. Large numbers of people believed and turned to the Lord. Now, who are the Greeks? I don't think we've talked about them yet. Now, Greeks were people who uh, really, in Bible terms, they were Gentiles or, or people who weren't born Jewish. Now, check out this map, because here in this map, we're going to see Antioch. Now, Antioch was an important city. It was located on a main river near the eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. Wow, didn't know we were having a geography lesson at church today. Well, that's important because this was a huge port city. Remember back then, they didn't have airplanes, they didn't have cars. So really to transport goods, to you know sell clothes from this to there, uh, it had to come in on a boat. And so there was a river that would go right into Antioch. People were able to come in, trade all different spices and clothing and, and all these different things they were able to trade there. So Antioch was a huge town. Because so many people were there, it was a great place for the good news of Jesus to be spread. In fact, uh, the people who lived in Antioch, they heard about these people saying Jesus was the Christ, so they gave them a name. This is the first time we actually hear in the Bible the term Christian. They gave them the term Christian or Christ-like. These people were going around telling people about Jesus, so just let's call them something. Let's call them Christians. Now, check this out. This first church in Antioch was there, and the church of Jerusalem said, we're going to send someone there to help you at this church. And his name was Barnabas. So Barnabas was sent to the church of Antioch. Once he was there, the Bible says, he saw what the grace of God had done, and he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with their hearts. Barnabas saw all the people, and he said, man, I'm going to need some help. So he went to get Paul. Let's take a look at the map again. Now, as you're looking at the map right here, you're going to see Antioch. And as you travel up a little further north, you're going to see Tarsus. That's where Paul was. Paul lived there in Tarsus. He said, hey, Paul, I need your help, buddy. This church in Antioch, so many people, uh, come with me. 
Paul said, I got to check the, I'm just kidding. Let's go. So Paul and Barnabas went back to Antioch. They went there to share the good news of Jesus. The Bible tells us that there was a famine there. Do you remember what a famine means? If you don't, that's okay. A famine meant that there was little to no food around. In fact, there were many Christians who were going hungry. They didn't have enough food. And so the church of Antioch said, we got to do something about this. For all of those who had the ability to do so, uh, they sold some property. Uh, they brought extra food. They brought it to Paul and Barnabas to say, hey, those who are coming in looking for food, give them to. Just give them here. Give them some bread. Give them one or two loaves. Help them out. Now, check this out. The church in Antioch was so good at helping others, a lot of churches around the world say, hey, we should do the same thing. In fact, Jesus calls us to be the hands and feet of him. We're to go and do as Jesus did. In fact, here at the church, we have a place called the Healing Center. Have you heard of it? The Healing Center is a great place to where we give food away to those who are hungry. We give clothes to those who are in need. We help a lot of people do a lot of different classes and help people to financial freedom. We do so much at the Healing Center because we believe, just like the church in Antioch, we want to help others and we want to be the hands and feet just as Jesus has told us to. Now, the church in Antioch, it was hospitable. Um, they were full of faith. They were different. They were generous. And uh, they wanted people to know about God. If I could sum up the church in Antioch in one word, it would be snorkel. That's not right. Love. Love, yes. If I could sum up what they did, it was love. They showed Christ's love to so many different people through what they did. And God has called us to do the same. Not only in the world, but in our own city, in our own home, to show Christ's love to others, to be the hands and feet. Help put up groceries, help do the laundry, help take out the trash. All of these are small things of love that we can do in our everyday lives following Jesus. Now, God wants us to be the church. God wants us to be the body, the hands and feet of Jesus serving others. In fact, our ponder point goes right into that this week. And our ponder point says this, God wants everyone to know him. Let's say that together. God wants everyone to know him. And by us being in the hands and feet, people are going to go, why, why are you acting different? This person trying to take food from me and you're trying to give me food. What's so different? And then we can tell them it's because of the love that Jesus has shown us, we're going to show that love to others. Because God wants everyone to know him. All right, I want you to join us next weekend as we talk about freedom. We're going to talk about that and we're going to take a look at a quick video. We'll see you next week.